Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to share with you a very interesting tool called as Superfile. Superfile is a modern terminal based file manager designed with an emphasis on clean user interface and ease of use. This tool is built using Go and the Bubble Tea framework to provide a visually appealing yet lightweight solution for basic file and directory management tasks in the terminal environment. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, there are heaps of other terminals I understand and this is just another option. If you like it, feel free to go with it because there is always uh, a room for yet another terminal in my opinion and this tool looks pretty neat and nifty. We are going to install it and then we will also test it out. Now one question might arise that why should we use Superfile? Well, it is sleek, visually appealing. I think that should be reason enough. but uh, it could be a good choice for lightweight file or directory tasks. It may not be a feature packed as some other terminals file managers, but uh, I think it is just another alternative. And if you are just looking for usability and design, give it a go and see if it suits your way of working. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. And if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very good prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And you can see my system here. Also, let me quickly show you my um, configuration of my CPU. So this is my CPU, CPU here okay so installation is very very straightforward for linux and mac just simply run this command and for windows you can go to their github repo download the executable and then just next next after downloading it on your windows system and you should be good to go and i will drop the link to their github repo in videos description so let's run this and as soon as you run it you can see that it is installed this is what I was saying. It is very, very lightweight. And just look at this design. Um, it is a TGUI, so which look really, really good. Terminal user interface, I mean. Okay, so installation is done. Now, in order to start, just type SPF. And you can see that it is just talking about, you know, uh, what you can do, what you can't do. This is just some sort of um, uh, terminal and then I have just pressed tab and you can see that now we have a few options here. Now at first glance, if this is the first time you are using these terminal user interfaces, this might look a bit overwhelming and um, you might think that what the heck is this. But the thing is that this is how these TGUIs work and once you get proficient in it, it becomes super fast and um, I have seen people and I am also guilty of those that once you get hang of it and you become proficient in this terminal user interfaces, the graphical user interface seems a bit uh, limiting and I think it is just uh, the way we use it. Okay, now first let's try to understand what is happening here. So we have started the SPF. If you look at this panel, there is a sidebar on the very left as you can see then we have files here in the middle and once you start it it is already in the focus and then you can see that there is a, some processes um, tab here which are which are running which are not running then we have some of the metadata clipboard is also there if you you know copy paste something and then there is a command execution bar at the very uh, bottom here which is um, here okay so now how do you move so for example if you want to put the focus on sidebar just press s and you see that now our sidebar is in focus and then just as the way it is with the tuis with your downward arrow key you can go up and down with the arrows keys and then um, you can just press enter to select something now, if you want to select the processes, just press small p and you can see that now process is selected and the color of that focus is also different. 
and if you press small m here the metadata is selected so for example you see that in the um, file panel the second one from the top agent file is selected and its metadata is displayed here like what is the size what is the date modifier permissions and all that stuff so you can immediately see that it is quite useful hopefully if you're a linux person i use linux very heavily and i think this information is quite handy especially when you are doing day-to-day -day tasks and then if you press your um, small i here after clicking here you can also see that it can be um, or pinned here or something like that if your command execution bar is there okay now if you want to go back to your file panel you can either press escape or you can simply go to the um, s p m and then whatever you want to do now another cool thing is that if you just press colon here you see this is where um, command execution bar appears and then from um, you can just exit by pressing escape or control c so again colon and then you can just type your files here okay now let me show you how you can um, play around with it so as i said um, you know if you want to create new file for example so i'm just going to press escape if you say uh, small n hill so you see it is it has opened a new tab here and then you can just keep um, pressing it if you press small w it is going to close that tab so small n to open small w to close and look it is going to take a bit of a time i'm also new to it i am also just checking out documentation and running these commands it takes a bit of a time to remember all of these commands but once you have it you can just keep um, it just becomes the second nature so for instance i just press n to open a new uh, file panel and then you can press tab to just move between these file panels and you can for example open multiple ones in order to compare them not only tab and i think you can also press capital l to tab between them as you can see here or if you change want to change the order you can just go with shift plus l or shift or capital h so these are different techniques which you can go from here there are multiple ways you can also um move the panel um but i think that let's not worry about it for now i'm just going to press w to remove it now let me show you a very cool feature which is primarily around the file operation so for example you are in this file um, management panel if you want to create a new file just press ctrl n and then you can just type the name with it like you can say spf file test something like that and then press enter if you want to create a directory just press um, slash uh, at the end and it will be created as directory but i'm just going to go with the file let's say i just want to say txt extension and you can see the full path of it right so press enter and then it should be created and then you can just simply you know go with it you can tap with it and it is going to show you how exactly this works and you can move your cursor here if you press enter here while focusing on that file you see it has opened this you can type whatever you like hello there and then you can save it and then i'm going to exit from here now you see on the right hand side the contents are available also i believe if you want to rename this file all you need to do is to press ctrl r and then you can just rename it something like um, new and then press enter and if you want to copy something just press ctrl c and you can see in the clipboard it is being copied and if i do ctrl v it has copied it again and the process is showing on the bottom left so you can do a lot of file operations here other than that as i already showed you you can press colon to get here you can run your um, commands of shell here like sp file something uh, test new dot txt okay so there is i'll just say ls then yep there you go now when you say ls it has shown me that it doesn't show the output here because this is not a command line interface 
it just shows that command has finished successfully because the shell status is zero so this is just for the complex operations which you just want to run in the shell mode so these are a few of the things which you can do with it um there are, there are not many features there so if you're just looking for something for file operations for just to do some sort of uh, shell management i think this terminal is quite good if that is your use case just wanted to share with you let me know what do you think if you like the video please press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you for all the support